the other story that we're tracking today, which is essentially the United Bank of India. Now, days after the financial mess that the United Bank of India has come to light from the finance ministry sources are indicating to Bloomberg TV India that um, UBI has submitted its administrative inquiry report to the finance ministry sources, indicating that prima facie, the report is suggesting that MPs in the bank were allegedly suppressed manually. Saloni Shukla joins us with details on that. Saloni, you know, how exactly has this been done? Well, clearly we've seen quite a drama play out as far as the NPA mess at United Bank of India is concerned. Uh, now, to begin with, we saw post the December numbers came out to the NPAs uh, crossing the 8,000 crore figure, after which we throw, saw three reports. Uh, the RBI report, which was submitted to the Finance Ministry, the Forensic Report, which Deloitte submitted, and the third one, which was pending, uh, was the UBI Administrative Inquiry Report, which was submitted to the Finance Ministry, uh, which the Finance Ministry is studying. Now, what we've clearly picked up from us, sources is that all three are clearly in line so all three uh, these three reports match with each other clearly what you're picking up from the UBI administrative inquiry report uh, is that NPAs at UBI might have been suppressed manually uh, the system generated NPAs were non-functional and especially as far as the small ticket loans below 10 lakh go uh, the due diligence on these loans might not have been done properly which is why we are seeing uh, skyrocketing NPAs as far as United Bank of India is concerned also finance ministry sources have indicated it was that they are studying uh, this report and they will take action against uh, the bank officials and whoever is found guilty in line with all these three reports that the finance ministry is studying.